I'm back, get your boy the near miss. And today we're gonna be going to the bogey swamp. One one thing that you gotta do first is get these pontoons in line. So uh let's go and grease this guy's little grubby palms. Oh my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy! Oh sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Alright, so we'll skip across here. And actually, oddly enough, the last scout fly location is actually just right there in front of the entrance to Boggy Swamp. Bogey Swamp. I don't know, however you wanna however you wanna say it. Let's grab it. Oh yeah, gimme give gimme. Give Orb. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get serious here. This area has 200 precursor orbs, eight power cells, and as always, seven scout flies. So, it's honestly a it, it's a super straightforward area. You don't really have wow. to do much. You can shoot fireballs when you're powered up with Yellow Eco. And we also get introduced to Yellow Eco here, which is awesome. I love Yellow Eco. Um, get out of here. So there's one thing that I do want to kind of point out real quick, and that's that you can get right up here with a boosted uppercut. It's not that difficult. I mean, you can't do it while you got the yellow eco on, but you can get up there. There's a bunch of uh, dark eco boxes and a couple of rat's nests in there though, so you might wanna tread lightly, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the first scout fly location is going to be, of course, right here. Just jump up and grab that right away. Honestly, these bat things always like to kill when when I get the chance. So I mean, you can do it. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. You can also just jump and kind of get out of here. You can also just jump and kind of kill them. Super convenient this yellow eco is, I swear. I love it. Okay, so let's go shred right over here. And we're gonna launch to the second scout fly location, which is just right here. You can just grab that right away. There's not really much to do in here. There's just that scout fly, so you can just pop out and continue on with your day because well we all want to get this done pretty quickly let's roll okay 
So one thing that I always like doing is because these little rats are a nuisance, I just destroy all of their nests right away, which I highly recommend doing. And you can avoid them too, but they're just a nuisance, so. Hi, Froggy. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here. Because this will be the first location that we need to deal with for one power cell, which is for uh, letting loose the lurker balloon. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Or at least part of it. And also, for each of these little things that you let loose, Did you will you get a power that? cell as well, which is... Only three nice. It's nice. Alright. Okay, so after we're done with that, we can go ahead and head on through this little cave tunnel entrance area thing. Just kill some shit real quick because that's what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and hop here. And we'll have to take care of some. Ah, oh, get off me. I don't like you. We're gonna have to take care of this thing to get out unless you just grab the scout fly really quick and get out, which is doable as well. So you could do that. You don't actually have to destroy that thing like I did. Just continue on your merry way. You can grab these. Shoot out the little pillar if you can. Can I? Can I go from here? And that will be power cell number two. Get out of here. Okay, so that was power cell number two. So we can go ahead and get a move on. So here you can go two different ways, it doesn't really matter which way you go, you can always come back later if you'd like, but uh... I am gonna go ahead and destroy all of these because, and then go the other way, or this way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and go this way so I can grab this as well as the scout fly on my way. If you go the way <clears throat> those bats were, it'll just, it'll bring you to the same spot. So it literally doesn't matter which way you go, it's just a roundabout. Just pop on over here using my slick lightning abilities. Power up with the with the yellow stuff real quick. Destroy the rock. Destroy the... Okay. Destroy the crates. Grab the blue stuff and then pop. Pop off. And here we're gonna get jumped, so you can just Look out, Jack. deal with everybody. Just, kind, of, kind of like the precursor area on Misty Island. It's, it's like that. And then you will also get a power cell for that, which is quite rewarding if you ask me. Alright, and we'll pop back up. And I believe there is actually a way to get to that other side that we just saw without taking this launch pad. Um, I think it involves a spin jump and it's not very complicated, I don't think. I've never done it myself though. That dirigible's barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether. But you can try it if you'd like. Let me know how it goes. I know it's something that's doable in like the PS2 version, but I'm not too sure if it's actually doable in the PS3 and PS4 versions. Okay. 
So in, through here, you can reach all of this stuff with a series of boosted uppercuts, if you'd like. Just don't do it hey, like I do it. There's the flat flat. Or you can just... And that will mark Scout Fly number five. The cool thing about the Flat Flood is, is that you can actually trudge through this electrical water and it's it's pretty nice to not have to worry about dying to electrical, muddy, greasy, oily water. Nobody likes that. And we're on to the next power stop. All right, so once I that's done... You saved our little flat, flat friend. Okay, Maybe now... Some brown medicine. This... What? Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack, but those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Okay, so this, you just gotta shoot all the rats. Normally, I'm not very good at good. this part, but I'll show you any. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. And keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. More. Mainly, I have issues with this part because of the inverted camera. Not used to it. Nice shot. Get him. Got him. Nice. Nice. Got him. Nice shot. Get him. Over there. known pest control can be so complicated. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I will be right back once I finish this. Well, okay. You sure know how to shoot. Thanks a heap for the help. You are welcome. Felt like I got better at that since the last time I tried it. That was actually kind of simple. E except for that first time. Okay, so anyway. Once that's done, you can go ahead and just... Oh, wait. Yeah, you can't do that. You can just go ahead and continue on your merry little way. On to getting power cells and getting some orbs and... Yeah. Okay, so you can go ahead and collect all of these... Yellow Eco... Things. Yellow eco drops. Yellow eco drops. Yeah. Collect all the yellow eco drops, and you can go around, wreak some havoc real quick in this area, 
Grab the last scout fly. And booyah. So there's that, and then just continue on, continue on. Here we go. All right, and right about here, we should be at the last tether for the little lurker blimp thing. So we'll get it, we'll go ahead and get up here. Smash it. And prepare for the cinematic. Bye bye, Blimpy. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That. Nobody cares what Samos has to say. I'm sorry. All right. So after you get that power cell, if you run out of yellow eco, just come in and grab some more. Or you can dodge and finagle your way through this little corridor over here. Right. Okay, and that is it for the Boggy Swamp. That is not it for the buggy swamp okay i'm so sorry about that guys so it turns out I actually forgot to grab this power cell right here right right next to the place that you got jumped at so um yeah i, I just forgot to pick up the last power cell from breaking one of the tethers so well so with that that is all eight power cells, all 200 precursor orbs, and all seven scout flies. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a like and a comment. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later.